Why am I in my pajamas? What? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sydney and I hope this video finds you well. So today I wanted to talk about money and budgeting. For some reason I just wanted to talk about it. So I hope that you guys like this video, enjoy this video. I hope you learn something. These tips have really helped me. Um, I moved out when I went to college. I have not needed help from my parents or anything like that. So I have done pretty well maintaining my funds and everything like that. And I just wanted to share some tips that I have learned along the way. There's one thing in particular that I'm gonna talk about that has really, really, really helped me. So I hope you guys stick around to hear what that thing is. If you like this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. What am I doing? I haven't even had coffee. But honestly, Earl Grey tea, it has some caffeine and like, I feel like I don't even need coffee. So, what was I saying? Um, <laughs> let me know in the comment section if you guys have any money tips. You know, help us get in our bag, like. I'm trying to be in my bag in 2019. I just learned really what that meant, so now I'm like trying to use it. <laughs> okay guys, clearly I'm a nut. So let's just jump into this video right now. All right, let's, let's just transition. Okay guys, so here we are. We are at my very dirty, messy desk. But I wanted to sit you guys down because I'm gonna show you how I budget really quickly and if you don't have a budget for yourself it's gonna be very hard for you to like save money and just to kind of know where your money is going so a budget is really gonna help you figure out um, how to allocate your money so what I like to do is first break it up by the things that I have to pay for and the things that are optional and I also like to do it um, monthly and then weekly. Now you can do groceries monthly or weekly, however you like to do it. So I'll just write it on the weekly side as well. But then at the end, I like to put what's optional, and that's whatever your self care thing is that you like have to do for yourself. For some people that might be getting their nails done, for some people that might be getting their car washed, like whatever it is that you have to do, you put that there for yourself. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys quickly to make sure that you're budgeting your money because it's super important whether you want to start saving, whether you want to start paying off any loans or anything like that. And then, you know, allocate the rest. But I want to show you guys this method that has really, really helped for me. So I take this and I put it off to the side. Um, what I started doing is the envelope method. So I have a rent envelope. I have a goals envelope. I have a, our goals envelope for me and my boyfriend. And he obviously wants to get Laker tickets. So we save in this envelope together. Um, I have a self-care, fun, treat yourself envelope. My cell phone um, envelope, home necessity. So whatever I need for the house, I put in here, whether that's toilet paper, tissue, whatever. Lunch, if I wanna allocate a certain amount for lunch. Groceries, whether that be for the week or for the month. Con Edison, which is the gas bill, my Best Buy credit card, and my Discover card. So those are all the things that like I basically need. And you can make the envelope super cute and everything, but obviously I don't really care about all that. <laughs> so now you are going to get cash. Cash is super important for the envelope method because you are going to be seeing where all your money is going. And you are going to be allocating your money. 
I'm just gonna bring you guys back to me for a second so I can explain um, this method right here. So this is called the envelope method. This is, I think, Dave Ramsey created this. I'm not quite sure, um, but I learned about it on YouTube. If you literally type in budgeting envelope method, you can see more videos like this. But this has really helped me and saved me a lot of money. And so what it is, the concept is basically when you get direct deposit or when you get your money and it's in the bank and you have it on a card, your debit card, it is so much easier for you to just swipe. Like you don't even see what you're swiping, you're not really allocating your money, you're just swiping and it's so much easier than when you're giving cash to someone. And so let's say for example, I go to the grocery store. If my money is on a card, I can spend as much money as I have at the grocery store. But if I don't take my card and I only take a certain amount of money, that's all I have to spend. And so it's really just helping you like allocate your money better. And so I used to just spend and swipe and this, this and that. But if I only have $20 to spend, that's all I have. I don't have my card to lean on and everything like that. So that's why the envelope method is super important and I really recommend it to anyone that's trying to save, anyone that is having a hard time paying off bills and everything. Like I paid off my um, Sally Mae Navient student loans, I'm in the process of paying off my credit card, like really this envelope method has helped me so so much so if you haven't heard about it make sure you check it out. I really just wanted to make a quick video about this but let me show you guys exactly what I do. So I get paid every week, I get paid in cash already so I have the cash and I look at my budget and so your budget and your envelope is the most important thing because you're gonna be seeing how much money you need to put in the envelope. So if you get paid weekly or bi-weekly or once a month, that's how often you're gonna be putting money in these envelopes. So let's say your rent is $800. That means if you get paid every week, you need to be putting $200 in your envelope every single week so that in four weeks, you'll have $800 for your rent. So what I like to do is, I like to see all my envelopes, so I'll just spread it out like this. I'll take my money and then I will literally start putting money on top of envelopes. So I'll do grit 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200. So I'm gonna put 200 in my rent envelope. Then my con ed, I said that that was 80, 20, 40, 60, 80. Groceries, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200. Okay, so you kind of understand. And then, once I've done all the necessity envelopes, I start going down to the more fun envelopes which might be having lunch, it might be my self care, it might be gold and different things like that. So then I will take the remainder of my money and start putting it in these envelopes. So the whole point of this budgeting is to be more strict with your money, but that's not to say that you can't still have fun. This method has really helped me become great with my money. You know, I'm the person that people come to when they need to borrow money. And so it is all because of this envelope. I am not just swiping anymore for any and everything. I'm like, okay, in my lunch for this week, I only have $20 instead of having my card filled with money. So what, you know, it's, it's, it makes it more special. It's like, what am I gonna do with this $20? That means I probably can only eat out twice, maybe three times. So instead of having my debit card and just swiping every single day, I only have this $20. And yeah, that is how I am able to save, 
pay off things, live on my own, not need any help from anyone. I work part time so it's really important for me to be able to save and make sure I have enough money for everything and I honestly do. I'm not stressed because I know exactly where my money is going and it's easier for me to be like okay maybe I don't need Starbucks today and different things like that whereas if it's on my card hey let's swipe let's do it. But yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you Wednesday for the next one. Bye! Ooh, that never gets old. Promise you'll never let go.